Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how to remove grade columns or assignments that are already in your gradebook. So say you have created an assignment in your course that you actually uh, don't want in your gradebook anymore for one reason or another. Well, if you're in your course itself and it is an assignment that you have put into your Moodle course, you always want to make sure edit mode is on, and then you want to scroll down and you want to find that assignment. You're going to click the little kebab menu next to it and you're going to hit delete. Once you hit delete, it's going to say you're sure you want to do it. You say yes. Once you delete it from here, it's also going to be deleted from your gradebook. Now, suppose there's something, a, 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 a grading column that doesn't actually show up in your Moodle course. Well, then we want to go somewhere else to do that. So let's go to grades. And once we're in grades, we're going to click on the little grader report and we're going to go to the gradebook setup. So once we're in the gradebook setup, what we're looking for is an assignment that we actually added as up here, its own graded item. So how do we know if it's its own graded item? Well, it's not going to be a link, right? So if we look at these assignments, a class assignment one, a discussion for a whole class, these are all links. And if I click on them, it's actually going to send me back into the Moodle course. Right, so I'm here, you can see this is where I ended up on the index, and it's an actual assignment within that course. But if it's something I something that's been added to the gradebook directly, it won't be clickable. So presentation number one is something that I have added as a column to the gradebook, but doesn't have a corresponding item in the course. Um, and there could be a good reason for that. Students may be doing presentations in a live class, and this is where I want to grade it. That's great. If for some reason I don't want to use this or I, you know, I end up I'm done with it, then I'm going to click on the edit button and I'm just going to hit delete. And once I do that, it's going to disappear. Any grades associated with it will also disappear. And now the gradebook will recalculate based on what's left. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.